PDP urges international community to impose visa ban on Buhari after May 29. Okay, this is they will not. First of all, Buhari says, where does he go? It's only United Kingdom, um, and then Saudi Arabia, other Arabic countries. He does not go to US or Canada or Russia. It's only UK because his lifeline is in the UK, and UK government is supporting all of these things happening in Nigeria. They are helping us out to continue to dominate the entire country. That is why they will never say anything. Moreover, if you stop Buhari, Buhari going to anybody's nation, is carrying Nigerian money to the, to the country. That is a big investment. So they will never stop Buhari from coming in. <coughs> that is it. No country will stop them from coming in. They are just raking. Even the U.S. cannot put visa ban on any Nigerian politician because they know that when politicians come, they come with huge money. That is it. They allow them to bring in the money, but they will never allow them to take out the money. The People Democratic Party PDP has called on the international community to impose visa ban and other travel restrictions on President Muhammad Obuari over his comments on the 2020 election, saying he was gloating over Nigeria's worst election in recent uh, memory. Also, PDP accused the president of attempting to bully the judiciary, which is currently handling electoral petitions into giving legitimacy to a clearly flawed election, asking that the sanctions be extended to all those involved in manipulating the outcome of the 2023 election. The party's national publicity secretary of PDP, Debo Olugun Nagba, made the call, said at a briefing in Abuja on Friday. PDP is responding to claims by President Buhari that the opposition lost 2023 election to the ruling of Progressive Congress because of overconfidence and lack of strategy. The president said it in the State House when he received the Progressive Governors Forum led by East Chairman Governor Abubakar Bagudu of Kebi State. Buhari had said they were already telling their foreign backers that they would defeat the, uh, the APC. Our party blended confidence with caution. We worked hard and won. Now their overconfidence is creating more problems for the position than anyone else. Reacting in Abuja, PDP said it did not lose the presidential election as claimed by Buhari. According to Logo Nagba, we are not willing to surrender the mandate freely given to our party by the people, irrespective of the threats, bullying and manipulation by the APC-led administration. Having clearly undermined the democracy in Nigeria, the PDP calls on the international community to accordingly impose sanctions, including visa ban and travel restrictions on President Buhari and his family immediately he vacates office on May 29. They won't do it. This demand for sanctions is in line with President Buhari's request on February 17, 2022 in Brussels, Belgium, wherein he called on the European Union to impose witty sanctions on those engaged in unconstitutional change of governance as well as those influencing the process and outcomes of elections, which is exactly what he has done. They are so that the plane is record for him. Okay, He said this in Brussels. And after saying it in Brussels in February 2022, he implemented it in February 2023, which is uh, or March 2023. Eh? Yes, February 2023, it's a year after. The PDP also demand an open investigation into the roles played by the President Buhari in the undermining of the democracy in Nigeria in the 2019 and 2023 presidential elections. This is a good one. Okay? This is a very good one coming. So, after seeing all of these things in Brussels, in EU, okay, that they should impose sanctions on anybody that is influencing outcome of elections, or anybody that's undermining democracy and all of that. He came a year after, February 25, 2023, to do the same thing. So they need to place the record for him. He needs to be the first person to be uh, uh, used as example to implement this kind of sanction. No wonder PDP is recalling all of this and replaying his tip for him. 
I think EU should do that. Okay, uh, because EU was part of the election observation team that came to Nigeria during this February 25, 2023 election, and they concluded that it was marred by violence in various parts of the country and and the worst of this kind in recent Nigerian history. So they all know all the international communities that came for international election observation from the EU, from, from the UK, from, from the United States, they saw exactly what happened. And from, from African Union, they saw what happened and they know that exactly what everyone is saying, that the election was marred with violence, was marred with everything evil all through the period. Okay? So that is PDP's position that Nigeria, okay, um, Nigerian election was the worst of its kind, and then the EU, especially the EU and other international communities, should, as a matter of urgency, impose sanctions, including visa ban on Buhari and his family immediately he leaves off the office uh, by May 29, because he caused this problem that we are facing today. He caused the whole problem. Election was nothing in Nigeria at this time under Buhari. He came in by rigging and he left by rigging. That is how bad his administration, eight years administration, has been. He came in by rigging, he sustained by rigging, and he left by rigging. That is how bad it is. So some people are making a few comments here. Some say story for the gods. Let him provide evidence of the winner before anything. Abi? Another person say PDP, my can you imagine? Future in, impossible tense. Hmm? So go back to school and stop embarrassing yourself publicly. Can you imagine? PDP that had since died and buried. Who takes them serious? Losers. Somebody say, very good. Okay. It's all over for PDP. Actually, Peter of APC, I mean, uh, Labour Party won that election. Clearly. Labour Party won that election, and there's nothing they can say about it. So everything that happened under Buhari is just very bad. And PDP is saying this uh, because of the comment Buhari made that opposition lost because of complacency and the, and the overconfidence and the, and the not having strategy. Why APC worked hard and won election? So can you tell us that APC actually won this election? These people, this bunch of wicked people in power, very extremely wicked people in power. I have never seen a wicked, a country with wicked leaders like this. I have never seen it. Eh? I don't know why, what, why African nations are caused like this. Not just Nigeria, so many other African nations are having the same leadership problem. But they were all, they were all those other countries were actually looking up to Nigeria for, for uh, as example for good governance. Unfortunately, Nigeria has dipped below them, has gotten to a new low in, in, in failure, in leadership failure. It's, it's, it's very, very bad. Very, very bad. So thank you for listening and let's have a comment.